Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 6th through the 9th, Monday through Thursday, for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. Now, this is my Monday through Thursday reading, so I use my two Bradley Valentine decks, but this time I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, and then I pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. Full moon, April 7th, 10.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is the time that you get out, release, relinquish, and request, and of course, it'll be the 8th, but, you know, I... Many time, many people say three days before, three days after. I kind of think for this one, 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th would be good to do that. You know, release what's uh, holding you back, relinquish what you don't need, and request the good stuff. So, remember I'm an intuitive channeler, and what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is that needs to come through, just comes through. Okay, cards are flopping out already. Here we go. Now, again, too, we've had a lot of energy going on. We have that Mars and Saturn going into Aquarius. It's like, it's like ripping a new, um, it, it just, rip, it's like ripping a new hole, okay? It's like opening, it's like, uh, you know, the, like the, like the screen, the, the veil, it's like tearing it past, okay? Like ripping it through. It's, um, you know, new, it's really strong, pushing you forward energy. We had April 4th, 2020, so 444. We had Mar, I'm sorry, Pluto, Jupiter conjunction. Um, you know, that was the 4th and 5th. There's something going on with Venus. We have the full moon. There is a lot of energy, of course, going on. We have all this stuff getting us ready for whatever this clearing is, whatever the, you know, whatever our new normal will be. It's not quite here yet, though. Okay, so anyway, to all again, to all, to everyone, thank you. Thank you to all the essential people that are doing, I mean, they're going beyond, you're going beyond and beyond, going beyond, you know, expectations. You are unsung heroes, so thank you so much. Thank you for the people that are staying at home, that, you, you know, doing the part that you can play, you can do. Thank you. Thank you. We will get through this. This does this we do get to this other side. It will be a little it will be different though. Now, three cards are face down. These are the ones that popped out. The third one is reversed, a little stronger energy. Let's see what we have for my Virgos. First card is the three of Raphael. Raphael is water energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, fluid and emotional energy, but this is about I mean, this is in general, this is a highlighting, highlight, highlighting, um, this is about celebrations, but there's something that's being highlighted. There's something that's being lifted up. And I think, my Virgos, it's something that you've been doing, okay? So you could have some recognition this week. Now, whether, you know, whether you're, wherever you're working, it could be, you know, it could be something that you're doing for work, it could be your volunteer work, it could be your, um, you know, I'm feeling very altru altruistic type of work. My tongue doesn't want to get around it. I'm feeling very um, volunteer, uh, volunteer type of work. I'm feeling very giving type of energy, and I feel like you will be recognized for your part in that. So, when that comes, my Virgos, you need to be seen, okay? You need to be seen because what you do by you being seen helps other people to know that they can do the same. They can do it too. Okay, so you may think that it was a small that you only did a small part, but your part needs to be acknowledged, and you need to be seen. You can't say, "Oh no, 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 I don't want." You need to be because that will help to encourage others. Okay, and whatever this is, so. The three of Raphael is reason to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships for children. I like that part. Next card up is the Queen of Ariel. Now this is your energy. This, and I will tell you that when I see the Queen of Ariel, 
I immediately go to Virgos. Don't tell Taurus and don't tell Capricorn that. But I always feel like this is your card, okay? It's solid energy. It's earth energy. It's that money energy. It could be something or someone you can touch. It could be your home energy too. It's beautifying energy. You know, it could be something. Maybe you're getting some money. You know, it could be all of this. But this is the Queen of Ariel. You know, she's stately. She's beautiful. She's welcoming also. But she likes pretty things all around her. So whatever this is, you know, it, it actually, you know, I, I'm feeling in a way, and this I don't necessarily go, I'm not saying that my Virgos do this or don't do this, but I'm feeling with this that in many ways there's a little preening being done too. Now, I'm not saying that this is typically what you do, but I'm feeling like, again, I'm feeling like you're going to be recognized. There's going to be some recognition given to you. Okay, so this is mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. This last one is reversed. Here we go. The nine of Ariel. Ariel, again, your energy. And the nine of Ariel in this deck, um, this is earth energy, is very much to me like the wish card, the nine of cups, the nine of water, the nine of Raphael, except where that is a little bit more, um, you know, metaphysical, and that's kind of like putting that out there, this has more solid type of energy, okay? This has more, you can, you know, like, you know, like you're given the prize, you're given the bonus, you're, you get it, you get it. So, your dreams are fulfilled, hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. So this is, I mean, this week for you, this Monday through Thursday, Yes, we're in the middle of a pandemic is actually, you you know, I feel recognition for you. I feel that in many ways that you could be um, rewarded and that could be through a promotion. That could be through monetary. It could also just, it could be through um, the recognition, okay? And, it, and because of that recognition, I feel like for my Virgos, it takes you to a higher step in whatever it is that you're taking that step in. Okay, so I like to hear good stuff. I like to hear good stuff, especially now. And this is good stuff for you, my Virgos. Okay, let's go ahead. Nothing fell out. Some cards tried, but they didn't do anything. Here we go. Our last card face down. The wheel. Ten. Archangel Michael. Michael's the warrior. He's also the protector. So here, so here we had, you know, we had the nines, which is kind of like a wrapping up type of card. But then we have the 10, which is transitioning. It's moving you forward. And again, this whatever this is you're being recognized for, um, you know, um, whatever this is that you're being, you know, you're being, you know, again, you know, you're preening, you're being, you know, you're being, it's like, you know, if, if this would be like you were, um, you know, like you're up there, you're up there, you're getting the gold star type of award, okay? So here we have 10s are bringing you to that next set, next cycle. The wheel keeps turning forward. It brings positive change, positive movement. So, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side, which you have this nine of Ariel and you have this three of Raphael, which is all, you know. And of course, you know, the queen of Ariel, like I said, don't tell the other earth signs. You know, this is you. I always think of my Virgos when I see the queen of Ariel. So, I will be, yes, this energy has been affecting me also. So, you know, I, but I will be on Sunday, you know, looking at my comments and replying. So just know that. But my Virgos, if you enjoy my readings, remember down there the buttons, like, share, subscribe. As always, my Virgos, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.